Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, this is SB or Sonia to people who know me. Um, this is going to be part two of our crochet crossbody uh, purse or bag. And today, in today's video, I'm going to show you how, well, I mean, I already showed you how to make the sides, but I'm actually going to show you the process of me doing it in fast time. I also show you how to make the, the straps, the triangles here and here, and also the straps themselves. So all you're going to need today is the yarn that you've been using to make your bag, um, your size K crochet hook, some scissors, and a big eye needle. Um, that's going to be very important, especially for weaving in the ends of this ribbon yarn. And um, this is the needle that I used. And it's, it's just a dull needle is what it is. So get, gather your materials, um, or if you already have them, get ready, set, go. Okay, so I just completed my 18th round, um, around 18. I wasn't counting as I was doing it. Once I get started, I just keep going. And that's the beauty of this. Once you start going, you don't have to think about it. You just have to stop and measure. Mine measures right now. Um... About five, let's see, about from the very bottom to the very top, about seven and a half inches. Um, if you measure it from the little ridge that we created from the back loop, it measures about five and a half inches. So if you're making the one that's similar to mine, that should be pretty close. But I wouldn't worry too much about it matching mine correctly directly um, because everybody is different and that's what makes these unique okay so now we're going to start working on the the straps and we have to create that little triangle that triangle ridge let me show you we're going to be creating this right here because you could just make it straight, but I don't think it would look nice. So we're going to be creating the triangle part of the straps. And those are made separately from the straps themselves. <clears throat> so in order to do this, we are going to try to get this as centered as possible. So just fold it in half. Just like that and what we're going to do is we're going to look at it from the top 
and we're going to find a center stitch. We're going to try to find one that's as close as possible to the side. I'm going to call these the side seams, the side seams. So I'm going to start on my left hand side. So I see a stitch right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to count from this center stitch out five stitches. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so it's kind of difficult. I'm just trying to show you the one, two, three, four, five. So there's my stitch. And that's where I'm going to start my little triangle shape for the straps. And I would suggest that you get a stitch marker. I'm just using my waist yarn that I have here. And mark this stitch. I think this is a, a chain one stitch. So I'm going to go in between there. And I'm just going to mark it just like that. And then from this stitch, we're going to count 12. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. There's our 12th stitch. Now this is going to look a little off, but once we put everything together, it's going to work out just right. And I'm going to mark this stitch as well, because that's going to be our last stitch. All right. So now we got the strap done. If you want, you can go ahead and do the other side and mark your stitches. For now, I'm just going to leave it like that. We haven't broken our yarn off. It's still attached. And what I'm going to do, what I didn't do on my other bag, is I'm just going to slip stitch all the way to my marked stitch. And you don't have to worry about having moving this up anymore because we don't need it. You could single crochet across if you wanted to. Um, I'm just going to slip stitch my way and I'm going to try to make them kind of loose because I want it to be kind of seamless. There we go. And it should be about three stitches from our first stitch. So from our last round. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. It should be about three stitches from our last stitch of the round. So there's our marked stitch. Now we're going to start single crocheting again. And we're just going to do regular rows, sorry, regular rows from here on out, no rounds. So we're going to single crochet into that stitch, which happens to be a chain space. I'm going to go ahead and remove my marker. So that's one. Two, got a chain space, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, and in our last one, twelve. All right, so this is going to look a little weird. I probably should have left my stitch marker, but I can kind of see it. It's right there. And just count back. 
Now we're going to start our decreases. So that was row one. So we're going to chain one and turn. And remember the chain one never counts. So we're going to decrease our first two stitches. Just like that. And then we're going to go all the way across to our last two stitches, which you can kind of see it's right there. Oops. That's the only thing about this yarn. It, it kind of is hard to work with sometimes. Two, three, four. Five, six, seven. I gotta go back and count. All right, so I'm two before my my last two stitches here. And I'm going to decrease those as well. All right, and we're going to chain one and turn. I hope you got all that. I wasn't paying attention. <clears throat> all right, so now at the end of this row, we should have 10 single crochets or 10 stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10 and we're going to decrease again on this row on either end so decrease and we're going to single crochet across to two before the end sorry it's hard to get a good view on this because it's like a basket <laughs> and it is kind of stiff Okay, one more, and we're going to decrease our last two stitches. In this yarn, I wish it was center pull because this just gets annoying chasing it around. Okay, and that's our, I believe, our third row completed. Three, yeah. And then we should have eight single crochets or eight stitches. So just be sure you're counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Perfect. And now we're going to chain one and turn, and we're just going to single crochet across. And you should have eight stitches. All right, now we're going to chain one and turn. And we're going to decrease again at the beginning and the end of our row. So decrease. And then we're going to single crochet to two stitches before the end. And decrease our last two stitches. And you should have six stitches on your row. Chain one and turn. And we're going to single crochet across. One, two, three, four, five, six, chain one and turn. And this is going to be a decrease row as well. So decrease the first two stitches, single crochet to the last two stitches, 
decrease the last two stitches. And now you should have four stitches. So we just created our little triangle shape so we can sew on our straps. Now at this point you can um, fasten off or cut your yarn and then work on the other side. And you're done making our, the beginnings of our straps. Our next step is to actually make the strap. Now, as you can see, I'm not gonna have enough to even get very far on my strap. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna grab the other bag and kind of show you how I did the strap. As you can see, I have a seam right here on this one and a seam right here. So what I wound up doing was creating the strap separately and then sewing it on, uh, well, I guess I should say attaching it with a slip stitch on both sides because I wanted them to look similar to each other. I wanted it to be like a mirror image. So that's what I'm going to do. If you want, you can just keep going with this with your four stitches and just keep working in rows all the way till you get the length that you want and attach it in a similar way with um, a slip stitch or a single crochet or just sewing it together. It's up to you what you do. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create the strap separately, measure it out, and then attach it. It does kind of make more ends to sew in, but I, I just like the way it looks better. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead and cut my yarn here. Go ahead and fasten off, I guess is how you would say it. There we go. I'm gonna go ahead and trim my end here. Being careful not to cut anything else. All right. And also at this point, you can add um, you can go around with the single crochet if you wanted to, just to give it more of a, I don't know, a finished look to meet up these edges here. Um, I think it looks fine the way it is. I like it personally. I'm going to cut this end off. There we go. So now we can set aside our beginnings of our bag. And I'm going to grab another skein of yarn here. And remember, we're going to start out with four stitches. So we're still using the same hook. Just create a slip knot 
and chain five. One, two, three, four, five. And in the second chain from the hook, single crochet. One, and then single crochet across. Two, three, four. And just to double check that we have it the same, because we want four. Perfect. And at this point, all you're going to do is you're going to chain one, turn, and single crochet across all your stitches. And you're just going to make a long strap. If you want it crossbody, I think I measured nine to be I measured 42 inches, but that's pretty stretched out. Um, so I actually looked up how long it should be roughly. Just to move you out a bit. Oops, wrong way. And let me get my tape measure. I like to be thorough in my videos. So if you want to skip over this to the end, you are more than welcome to. Now right here, unstretched, it's about 40 inches. But when you stretch it out, so you got to take into account the stretch when you're wearing it because as you can see, it stretches out pretty well. So I would go, if it were me, and it is me, I would probably go at 41 and a half, maybe 41. But I measured 42 inches with the strap stretched because it does have some stretch. Anyways, let's go ahead and make our strap, uh, just chain one, turn, single crochet across, four stitches, and just keep doing that over and over and over and over until you get the link that you want. Alright, so I'll meet you back here after I'm done. I just finished my strap here, as you can see. I have it, so I'm going to measure it, and to show you how long I made mine, I actually made it 38 inches, roughly. I'm going to go ahead and start attaching it to my purse here. And what I'm going to try to do is I'm gonna try to weave in the end here so that way I don't have to worry about that too much. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna put basically your right sides together. So whichever side that you wanna be on the outside, that's the side you're gonna put them together just like this. And pretty much you're just gonna turn your work I might be up a little too high. So there we go. So we have them together and we're going to match our stitches up. So you should have four stitches and we're just going to go through each side. Now I have tried to make it look less like it's grafted together and more, you know, seamless. Um, 
The only way that I found is to go through either the front, front loops or, or rather the back loop and the front loop to make it look a little seamless, but I mean, it's all about preference. And we're just, I'm just gonna single crochet these together because I wanna hide this end. There we go. So we got one of those ends hidden. And now what you should have is your strap attached to your... I broke my crochet hook. <laughs> Why? That's okay, I can fix it. I mean, it's just polymer clay wrapped around the crochet hook. That's fine. Okay, anyways, back to what we're doing. So now that I've gotten this done, I'm just gonna go ahead and cut my yarn here. And I'm gonna bring this up here because we're gonna need that. Pull this out. And what I do with this weird looking side is I just weave this around and go back through and weave it in. It just kind of helps finish that edge. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to attach the other side of the strap to the other side of our purse. And what you want to do is you, you're going to do the same thing, making sure that your strap is all nice and straight and you're going to face the right sides together, hold them together, and then you're going to get your, your hook and you're going to place it into those two stitches. And I'm going to weave in my ends, these two ends together. It's the trick is getting everything where I want it to go. Okay, and now we're gonna single crochet all the way across, hiding our ends. You could use a slip stitch, but then you wouldn't be able to hide your ends into your seam because a slip stitch is just gonna go on the outside of it. And you should have four single crochets right there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and fasten off. Cut my yarn. And let's hope that I got everything the way it's supposed to go. And yay! So let's bring you out a little bit more. And there's our crossbody purse completed. There it is. Now all that's left to do is to weave in your ends that you have left over or cut the ones that you've uh, hidden. As you can see, you almost are not able to tell that you attached it after the fact. I'm just going to show real quick on how I weave in this ribbon yarn because it can be a little tricky. What I do is I get a big eye needle and I don't use this in to weave it in. I use the part where the eyes at and I just pass it through. It just seems to work a lot better. 
than using the pointy part because this is pretty much woven. It's like a fabric. It's not like a yarn. Just in case you're struggling with, you know, sewing in your, your ends here. I'll show it one more time. Go ahead and try to trim these up as close as I can. I like to hide those ends because they get a little... There we go. Now I'll show it one more time. Another little trick with the ribbon yarn as well is to kind of cut it at an angle so that way you have a point and you just kind of force it into the eye of the needle just like that and just have it kind of short as well and then I'm just going to go on the other side and just be patient and make sure that you leave enough of a tell so that way you can weave it in. Otherwise, it's going to be really difficult to weave in your ends. And this is just a doll needle that I bought, I believe, at Walmart. But I think you can find them anywhere, like at any craft store that sells sewing supplies. So there you go. Um, just finish weaving up your ends, and I will see you in the next video, which will be sewing the lining, uh, making the pattern for the lining, and making the pocket if you choose to put a pocket. So I'll see you in the next video. It's going to be part three of this crossbody bag, and I will see you then.